Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of What Did I Get Myself Into? And today I'm very excited to talk about this puzzle here. This is 6L Labyrinth uh, by Brian Crenn. Um, give you a little backstory about this puzzle. In fact, this video in itself, this is probably the eighth video I've done on this puzzle. Uh, I've done several with Geneva, several with myself, uh, with us together. I just felt like I wasn't presenting the puzzle the best way that we could. Um, and I also understand that not all puzzles are going to record well either. Uh, but it was important to me to really do the best I could for this puzzle. Because it was the first puzzle sent to us to do a video. And I was so excited about that. Um, so again, I really have been racking my brain how to best show this puzzle. Um, I'm very familiar uh, with this puzzle company. It's called Puzzle by Piker on Etsy. I'll include a link in the description, uh, but they have a ton of fantastic puzzles and they are extremely affordable um, and some great ones for kids. Um, this was a maze puzzle that we'll do a video with Geneva. Um, I actually got this one from my Secret Santa for Christmas. Uh, and that's what's led to this puzzle. I was actually talking to Brian about that Christmas present that I received and told him that it was fantastic and it's one of my favorites. I love puzzles that have more than one challenge. You get more for your buck, I think. Um, and he said, listen, if you want to do a video, how about I send you another one? Uh, you might like it a little better. And that's what we have here. This is 6L. Um, when you receive it, it comes in a little box like this. A little card, but puzzled by Piker. And then you get some instructions for the Labyrinth Cube 6L. And again, this is a fantastic puzzle and I'll explain to you why. There's a couple challenges to it. The first is assemble a cube in the box that creates a continuous pathway through each piece. And I'll explain that in a second. Put the lid on, drop the ball bearing into the square hole in the corner of the lid, twist, turn, flip the box, uh, and navigate this little ball through all the voxels. So, not as confusing as it may seem. This is the box here. And you have six of these blue pieces. Hence the name 6L. You also get such a clutch you get this little ball bearing here and if you notice on these pieces here don't let me switch to this camera up here you'll notice that these pieces have these little openings here and if you take this ball bearing hopefully I don't make a huge There's these little channels. So if you put this, let's try this channel here. If you put the ball bearing in there, and then it'll come out this hole here. So what's really cool about this puzzle is the first challenge is to pack all six of these pieces in here to where the lid closes. And it's a little bit more challenging than you may think because inside here, there's this little corner piece that has a channel all through it. So you can't put any pieces here. And then you have this top piece here. Now I will tell you that I've had quite a bit of practice with this puzzle. So I know how to fit these pieces in so I can close this lid. What I haven't been able to do is do it in a way to where I can get the ball through these little mazes here. So let me first show you. I'll show you what it looks like when you pack this puzzle. Ta-da! 
Now, that's not it though, because now you have to take this little ball, drop it in this hole, and you see right there, I've already lost because that, that ball has nowhere to go. So I've been talking with Brian, going back and forth on how I can best do this video. I, And I told him, I said, I I was breaking it up into to two challenges. I was just doing the packing portion and I was leaving it to you guys at home to figure out how you could take this ball and solve the maze. I was thinking about it and I thought, you know, actually it'd be great if I did it myself. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I know, and this is where I don't know if it'll work. I don't know how many configurations there are to packing these pieces into this box. What I'm going to do is take the method that I know and see if I can just move these pieces around and make that part work. So I know if I put this piece in here, drop the ball, it comes out there. So. I have to figure out when I put a piece in where this ball is going to go in the track. Seen already, I think I'm. Well, that stinks. So what I'm finding out is my way of packing this puzzle won't even allow me to get the ball. might be 11 videos or 10 or how many I've done so far. <sighs> All right. Maybe doing another video. And I might need to ask Brian for a hint. We are not done. We'll be back and finish this. This is the Labyrinth Cube 6L kick in my behind. All right, so we are back and I just put this up. I put this away um, thinking that it would be another 20 videos before I got to 
finally show a proper video. Um, I ended up asking Brian, puzzled by Piker, for a tip. Have this little hint. This is just, that's the hint that I got. One piece, um, but it was a big hint for me. Um, let me see if I can start over again. I had the orientation right, and the only piece he told me was this piece here, that that would drop straight down. Um, in addition to that, he said that um, when you put the piece or the bearing in the top hole, it'll drop straight down and then transition into this piece. So there's only a few pieces that will do that for you. So we would have this one, and then this would go there, that goes on there. Um, where I was stumped is this piece, because it's still gotta go into the hole. Um, that right these two pieces because like I said he said Brian said that it would drop down from the top into here and then transition into here so it can only be these two pieces that fit there that would come out there up here out here there and then from here, is that right? We come up. Holy cow. Ultimately, it has to come down that way. Oh, here we go. If I could just put the top on and walk away and say, there it is, goodbye. But there is more. The only way to know if I did it right is to drop the ball into the hole. So we put the lid on top, drop the ball in, when it comes out the bottom, there's the bottom right there. hope if I remember the pathway Okay, so I, it looks like I've made a mistake somewhere. Alright, so 
I think I think that's it. Oh my gosh. After about a gazillion videos, Geneva trying, me trying, countless times, and then getting a tip from Brian. <laughs> Finally. Oh, man. All right, so let's do it proper. We packed all six L's in here, six pieces. Put the top on, drop the ball in. I wish I could do this more fluid. Ah. Jeez Louise. Oh my gosh, this, for something that seems so simplistic, because you're just these little blue parts, this is tough, and it is the second puzzle that I've needed to get a hint on. This is super challenging though, and I think if I put this down and picked it up tomorrow, I would be just as stumped. He's got a lot of puzzles on Etsy. Um, they're all 3D printed. But I remember the prices were pretty fabulous. Puzzle by Piker. 25 bucks. 25 bucks for a packing puzzle and then turns into a maze puzzle with this little ball bearing. And again, I. I would have happily done a video without him asking me to. Um, so Brian, thank you so much for sending me a copy of the 6L Labyrinth. Um, now I gotta work on the white one. I still have this one that I got for Geneva and I that this is a great one for kids. Um, man, I thank goodness. <laughs> I think it'll end up being a great video, but thanks a lot for watching. What did I get myself into? If you haven't checked out Puzzled by Piker on Etsy, a lot of great puzzles, super affordable. Um, thanks for watching. Bye. I'm going to break everything.